Welcome to the Exam Room Podcast brought to you by the Physicians Committee. Hi, I am the weight loss champion Chuck Carroll at the International Conference on Nutrition and Medicine 2022. So often doctors don't necessarily take their own medicine. My doctor friend today, my new friend, just met him, is definitely somebody that is prescribing this for patients, now prescribing it for himself, and he is reaping the benefits. It is truly an extraordinary transformation that began, get this, less than nine months ago. Dr. Daniel Ganyan, stricken with rheumatoid arthritis, really having a tough go of it, completely overhauls his diet. Spoiler alert, he's looking as spry as ever, and he's sitting right next to me right now. Sir, it is so good to see you. You have come a very long way to be here. Thank you. I'm so glad to see you also. I have been watching you, and now I have the opportunity to see you physically, and I'm so thrilled. I'm thrilled. I mean, you get the award for perhaps greatest distance travel to be at the conference. Where did you come from? I am from Ghana myself, but I work in Kenya, so I flew from Kenya all the way here to this conference and probably the only African who flew from the continent of Africa to attend this conference. Yeah. And you know, I got to know this conference through your podcast. So your podcast is going very far. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm touched uh, yeah. to, to be reaching all the way over to you in, in sure. Nairobi. I mean, that's just incredible, man. Uh, how long was your flight? I mean, this is dedication. This is who I'm asking. How long was your flight? <laughs> yeah, I flew directly from Nairobi to New York, JFK, and that was about 13 hours nonstop Ooh-hoo-hoo. in the air. Yeah, you yeah. win the award, my friend. <laughs> So let's talk about uh, you today, very different from the person back, say, in early January at the start of the new year. Exactly. Struggling with rheumatoid arthritis. You're right. How much different is life for you now? Now it has made, I, I am a, a changed person now. My, my, my pains are gone. I am off my medications and I'm doing very well. I feel healthy, I feel strong, and I'm happy. What was life like for you? I mean, talk about what a typical day was like for you when you were still struggling with RA. How much pain were you in? Man, it was excruciating pain, even though I was on several medications, but they were not helping. And my medical doctor, my rheumatologist, told me that um, I will be on that, on those medications for life. Yeah. And, and those medications are giving me a lot of side effect. And every day is, uh, sorry to say, it's a hell for me. Because um, sometimes I could not even lift my own phone. The pain was such that uh, to even lift a paper was difficult. Wow. So um, I, I have been in pain for the past 20 years. But beginning January... Uh, I, you know, I feel very strong and I'm okay, and it's a miracle for me. So, but you're a you're a doctor yourself. You know, exactly. your job is to heal people. I would imagine that it must have been exceedingly painful for you, or or frustrating, not to be able to have the results that you were looking for, that relief from that pain, for 20 years. Yes, exactly. Probably. I will let me let me begin my journey. My journey began 20, uh, 2000, the year 2000, when I was in school. That was when I developed this um, severe form of rheumatoid arthritis, and and it was progressing. You know, even though my you know, doctors put me on steroid and and many other medications, but it was progressing and um, I was helpless. I didn't know what to do. And later I was even diagnosed of uh, systemic lupus. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, um, but then the doctor said, well, that is what I have to live for and that is going to be my life. You know, so I saw my life deteriorating slowly. You know, I'm going down the drain and, um, 
for you, you know, for me, who, who is a bit knowledgeable in some of these things and I'm helpless, you know, it kind of, it, it is very strange yeah. for me. Yeah. It's very strange. But uh, one thing I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, Chuck, is that uh, I married a lady who is so um, good. She was worried about me, about my health, and always searching for solutions in the net and everywhere. And um, one day she pounced on uh, your interview with one Monica. Mon yeah. She that, was literally just sitting here five minutes ago. I saw her. She presented. Yes, yes. And yes. I'll talk to her tomorrow. And then she exclaimed. She ran to me and exclaimed, Daniel, I found a solution. And I said, what is it? She said, watch this video. And I took my time to watch. It was a lengthy one, but I watched it. And it was, a, it was that was a history. But, you know, to, to, no, to, to go back... When I was diagnosed of this disease, I was put on steroid, prednisoline. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the, the doctor was increasing it. But then my arthritis was, I don't know, a very severe form. And my joint, and sometimes I cannot even lift a paper, mm. piece of paper. Um, then later, and this thing developed in the Philippines. I was in the Philippines. I, I was studying in the Philippines. But later, I came to Ghana, and these medications gave me serious side effects. I was developing patches on my head, my head, and then patches on my lower extremities. And it was becoming so severe for me and uh, my, the doctor told me now they have to take me off the, the steroid because I cannot be on steroid for so long a time. Right. You know, so they took me off the steroid, but then they had to introduce me to non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs such as methotrexate, uh, HCQS, and uh, painkillers and then some um, uh, folate, uh, because I was always anemic, some folate, yeah. So um, I have been on this medication for until January, until January this year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when my wife you know, came to me with this um, information that uh, she found a solution. So we, I, we switched, I, no, I switched immediately to whole food plant-based diet and within four months I saw a drastic change the pains had minimized and had almost gone and I couldn't believe it I said is this real and then we continued but then I stopped all other medications okay you know the metro methotrexate I was on six tablets per week. Six tablets every, every week, then I reduce it to five, then to four, then to three. And I wanted to stop, but my wife said, no, not too fast, go slowly. Just six <laughs> months. Right, right. You know, so um, right now I, I can walk, I can lift up things, I am okay, and, and I'm doing very well. I'm, I'm, I'm back. Yeah, and I'm so happy about oh, that. Oh man, I I'm absolutely thrilled for you. I, I mean, I would imagine it's not just the pain being gone. It's you've got your life back. Exactly, you're right. That's powerful, man. Exactly, I can do all the things I used to do before the disease. Yeah, I can do them now. I love to exercise, and I love to you know interact with people, and uh, now I can do all those things. You know, so um, I, I'm so happy, Chuck. I'm so happy about um, my health. And, and so when I heard about this conference, I said, I must be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you made the pilgrimage, yeah, exactly, my friend. Exactly, exactly. Your story is so moving. It's like you're telling that, and I'm, I'm getting choked up inside, right? I mm. mean, just so incredible to me. And I think that it's a tale that will inspire a lot of people who still don't know about this and so 
I would imagine you don't want to keep this a secret. No. You want to share it with others so that they exactly. can get their life back as well. You are right, Chuck. And, and as if you are reading my mind, I am really motivated and have the passion now to stop my teaching profession, go back to my country, Ghana, and establish a lifestyle center. Yeah. Because now, Chuck, you don't know, maybe you may not know, but in Ghana, people are getting sick and um, the, the knowledge is not there, the awareness is not there, and people are suffering ignorantly. We need, and, and the doctors in, in, maybe not Ghana alone, are just ready just to prescribe medication. Right. They are not ready to sit with you and give you advice what to do, like plant-based diet and exercise, lifestyle modification. Yeah. They don't have that time. So, and, and these, um, the pharmaceutical companies are also very powerful in Ghana. They get a lot of money when the doctors prescribe, you know, the medication. But we need to educate people and that is what I want to do in my lifestyle center in Ghana. I really want to do that. I have that vision and I will stick to that vision. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll stick to that until it becomes a reality for me. My friend, I don't think that there's anything that you can't do. I mean, if you're able to overcome this after 20 years, yes. everything else is a piece of cake. Exactly. Healthy cake, mind exactly. you. Healthy yeah, cake. It yeah. is. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So so um, that is what I want to do. Um, I'm going back to Kenya on Sunday. Okay. And then in September, I will be in Ghana. Okay. And then I will begin. Uh, and I'm going to start this afresh. I will, I will try to lay out and see how best I can do it. And, and then... I will keep in touch with you, and then we can we can you know um, see how best we can we can do this, and then uh, uh, we can also let the audience, the public know how we are doing. Yes. 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 We will let them know. Well, yeah, I would absolutely love to have you back. Thank you. Uh, and and do a longer form interview because I feel like there's a lot of the story that we didn't get to. Exactly. Uh, I would like to tell the entire thing. Exactly. Um, and then certainly, you know, keep abreast of, of everything that you're up to. Thank and, you. And um, I, I just think it's it's such an incredible story. Mm. And to know that it began when your wife discovered one of <laughs> our episodes exactly. here. Exactly. Is, is just, <laughs> I mean, it's literally just my heart sings man mm. and i'm a sports guy i'm supposed to be a macho guy and you have me throwing out terms like my heart <laughs> is singing right so like you have you have touched me man exactly and, uh, i'm so happy for the you. truth is you guys are saving lives you may not know you are saving lives what you are doing is reaching far and people are watching and maybe one or two people will get back to you and let you know how this have changed their life but there are a whole lot of people out there who may not have the opportunity to reach you but you are changing lives you are saving lives out there in the world my man yeah. you're about to do the same thing exactly you're about to do the same exactly. thing exactly you're I'm gonna right keep my eye on you please Big things ahead. <laughs> thank you Big things ahead thank, thank you so you. very much for being here and I'm, I'm, I'm just thrilled for you thank you thank you Chuck and thank you for having me and thank you for the interview. I am, um, I cannot wait to watch it and see how it goes. Thank you so much. You are more than welcome. Good. If your health IQ is a couple of points higher than it was a few minutes ago, go ahead and like this video or subscribe to the YouTube channel. And to take it even higher, head over to Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your favorite shows. Look for the exam room by the Physicians Committee. Hit the subscribe button there as well and help to make your world a healthier place.